Here we'll be looking at a construction of a parabola when its base and height are given to us. So this is the kind of parabola we want to construct. Of course we have seen one such construction where the same information was given. But this construction comes from a very different part of mathematics and it will also be defining the parabola in a very different way. So we are going to start with uh, what is known as de Castillo's algorithm. Of course, we are looking at a special case of it where we have been given two segments AB and BC which intersect at B. The angle that they make at B and their lengths are not of any consequence. Then there is a third segment DE whose endpoints are resting on the two segments. Then we have taken a point P on this segment DE. To summarize, we have three segments AB, BC and DE. And we also have three points D, E and P which are intersecting them. And all these three intersections occur at the same ratio. This fact has been shown by this equation. Under the circumstances, this point P traces an interesting curve and that's why we have kept our pencil there. So let us change these ratios. So although we change them, we are going to keep them equal. And then you will see the path of P over here. Let us see what is that path. So let us trace it. So once again, we will change the ratios thereby moving the segment DE and you will see this is the path it is tracing. This can be shown to be a parabola. Interestingly, there is one more thing that is defining this path, not only the point P, but it is also getting defined by various positions of DE. Did you notice that DE is remaining tangential to the parabola all the time? So if you take very many positions of DE, the tangents to this parabola, then they will form what is called as the envelope. So that is the uh, construction we are going to use. So let us go back to our initial information, the base and the height. I'm going to stack the height on top of itself, thereby doubling it. And then I will draw these two lines constructing an equilateral triangle. And the two sides of the equilateral triangle will then be divided into equal number of parts, say eight parts over here. So these uh, points represent say one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, four eighth and so on the intersections similarly on the other side. Then I'll be connecting one eighth part to this one eighth, two eighth to two eighth and so on just like uh, our tangent DE was doing. And when we do that, we get various positions of the tangent forming the envelope. So we will be drawing the curve not as an interpolating curve of a given set of points but an envelope defined by these tangents. So this is the parabola we get.